I'm Coy Barefoot here at the University of Virginia. We're standing on McCormick Road next to West Range. This road is named for Leander McCormick, who gave us the observatory, which opened in 1885 on Mount Jefferson, now called Observatory Hill or O Hill. This was the road out to the observatory. Some scholars believe that this road is actually part of the Three Notched Road, which was the colonial highway that connected Richmond to Stanton and opened in the 1740s. West Range and Jefferson's original design actually faced the lawn, but uh, before the school opened, he turned it around and put the gardens between the lawn and the ranges. And Jefferson actually called this road West Street or the Back Street. Let's see what West Street looked like about 100 years ago. Charlottesville's mule-drawn trolley cars went electric in 1893, and for many years, university students and faculty lobbied successfully against any extension of the local trolley line into the university community, arguing that the system's five-cent rides were not a modern convenience, but a tourist gimmick that would bring more unwelcome locals into the neighborhood. As suburbs like Fry Spring and Preston Heights began to grow, however, opposition to the streetcar began to subside, and by 1912, the tracks had been extended to the corner and the rotunda. Johnson's Confectionery was a popular restaurant with University of Virginia students for the first few decades of the 20th century. In 1937, Johnson's was torn down to make way for the new University Movie Theater, which opened in the fall of 1938. The first movie was the 1934 release Crime Without Passion. The University Movie Theater operated successfully on the corner for more than 50 years and was the site of the first organized civil rights demonstration at the university in March of 1961. By the early 1890s, students at the University of Virginia had begun calling the area around the entrance gate the Corner. One of the first buildings at the Corner to attract students was Temperance Hall, which was built in 1856. It had room for a bookstore and the post office on the main floor, and upstairs a meeting room for the popular student temperance movement. So ironically, students first gathered at the UVA corner in a shared commitment of temperance and prohibition against alcohol. The look of the corner changed dramatically around 1900 when the infamous Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad trestle was built. With nearly 30 passenger trains running through the neighborhood each day, the graded crossing on University Avenue had become rather precarious. The solution? Reroute the traffic beneath the railroad tracks. The project commenced in July of 1901. Laborers worked throughout that summer and into the fall, fighting the tenacious red Virginia clay with picks, shovels, mules, and drag lines. Getting to and from Charlottesville along West Main Street was never an easy task for students throughout the 19th century. They either walked or if they were lucky, they could hire a hack or a horse and buggy for hire. In the 1850s and 60s, when the train tracks came through, students often would hop aboard for a free ride on trains heading to town. They celebrated in the 1870s when a boardwalk was installed in parts along West Main Street, but then quickly complained when stray stalks of corn grew up between the slats. By 1850, the University of Virginia was desperate for more classroom space and a new lecture hall. Architect Robert Mills was hired to build a new annex onto the north face of the rotunda. To create a solid foundation for the annex, they first had to build up the earth in front of the rotunda, and they got that dirt from right across the street and dug it up in a place we now call Mad Bowl. When Madison Hall was built in 1905 as a YMCA, the first college YMCA in the country, that land behind Madison Hall was known as the YMCA campus, one of the first athletic fields at the university. 
It had a running track and lots of tennis courts. Fraternity houses were built along Madison Lane beginning in 1900. 